Hi everybody, it's me, Jordan here, and today I'm going to do a follow-up video on why I'm not going to get Microsoft Windows 10. Now, everybody might say, oh, Microsoft Windows 10, the newest Microsoft Windows operating system for computers out there. People might say, ooh, it's going to be an upgrade from Microsoft Windows 8.1. Yeah, and it is. But after watching the video on it, it doesn't really, isn't really that much different. Of course, the desktop is designed differently, and they put all your programs and all your files and all your desktops and all your icons and attachments are all organized differently. But at the end of the day, it pretty much run your computer the same way that Microsoft Windows 8.1 ran your computer. Or Microsoft Windows 7 ran your computer. It's not really that much of a change. Now, I know there's going to be people who are already reserved a copy of the files come July 29th and are going to install it and have it on their computer. But just because you're getting a new operating system, it's not going to change the way your computer operates. It doesn't really have any new features. Of course, Microsoft says that this Windows starts your computer quicker. But I think that all has to do with, this, with the memory and how much stuff that Windows has to do when it's starting up the computer, restarting up the computer, or whatever the case might be. So just, so that's going to be their selling. That's all they're going to sell it on is it, it allegedly is going to start your computer up faster. Oh, I can see people now saying, yeah, Microsoft Windows 7 and Microsoft Windows 8 and Microsoft Windows 8.1 were flow. Yeah, I had to wait forever to get through the matter, the, through the gateway or the RCER, you know, loading page or the Dell loading page. And Windows starting or blue or black screen and then finally going to my lock page to put in my password to my account and then I had to wait forever for the desktop to load up. You know, they're going to saturate, you know. But to tell you the truth, Jordan says, I'm just going to stay with Microsoft Windows 8.1. Yeah, that's true. Microsoft will pull out customer support for it. But guess what? When did I ever take Microsoft up on customer support? on either Microsoft Windows Vesta or Microsoft Windows 8 or Microsoft Windows 8.1. So I never took them up on any customer support for any of their operating systems. But there's going to be some people that are going to judge me and say, you're a piece of shit. Oh, come on, Jordan. You don't want it to, you don't want it, you don't want to upgrade a Microsoft Windows 10? No, I don't. Oh, come on, Jordan. It's going to be cool. Yeah. So they're going to make a facelift on the desktop, and they're going to reorganize where your icons and your gadgets and your, you know, your desktops go. And then they're going to make <coughs> icons go, and they're going to reorganize where all the files are at. But at the end of the day, it's going to be pretty much the same operating system of a facelift. I mean, it's not making the computer do anything different that it hasn't done before, you know. <clears throat> Oh, but come on, Jordan, you need to upgrade. Yeah, well, there's people out there, Jordan said, that just upgrade for the hell of upgrading, even if the upgrading isn't going to help them in the long run. You know, they're, they're going to be, for example, people are going to use arguments and say, well, upgrading from the record to the compact disc was a good move. The compact disc does, does age better, and it's more easier to take care of. Okay, so I'll give you that. Upgrading from the VHS to the to the to the digital video disc was a good idea because its quality is better and the age is better and easier to take care of. But Jordan says, just because see, but those are examples of upgrades that were useful upgrades. Upgrading a operating system when there's nothing wrong with the current operating system is just stupid in my opinion. You know? It's just stupid. It's just for the hell of getting something new just to get something new, even if that something new isn't going to help you, you know? Oh, so you're stuck in the Stone Age. Oh, yeah, and I guess Jordan said you're in the Bronze Age and the Iron Age and the Industrial Age. 
if you're getting Microsoft Windows 10, Jordan says. So go ahead, judge me, say how I'm an idiot, say I'm a moron, say how me upgrading a Microsoft, because I choose not to upgrade a Microsoft Windows 10, I'm an idiot. You, you idiot. And by the way, that's my, that's Pepsi. That's her name, that's her real name, it's not a nickname. And Jordan said, I choose not. Uh, once again, I'm not going to be upgrading Microsoft Windows 10. So when ja so when July 29th comes along, this computer will still have Microsoft Windows 8.1. Because as far as I'm concerned, Microsoft Windows 8.1 is still running my computer the way it's always run it, the correct way. You know, everything works the way it's supposed to work. There is no inconsistencies. And if it's not broken, in my opinion, don't fix it. <clears throat> Okay, that's it. I'm Jordan Long, and I hope you enjoyed this video.